Cheng Ho. I am a former Thomas Cup player for Malaysia in the 60s. Well, I'm now touching 78. It is a long story, but uh, to cut it short, I started the, playing the game when I was nine years old because my father was very interested in the game and he built a badminton court in front of our house in, in the kampong. And we have a team called the a badminton team comprising of all the school children. And uh, my father was the president of the association. So from there, we graduated to play for the schoolboys uh, competition. And then we then then I graduated to play for the state eventually and Malaysia finally. Well, it was not an easy job. Uh, we had to uh, go through a lot of uh, tournaments, and uh, only when you win or. or, or perform well, then you're selected to be uh, for training in the Thomas Cup team. Well, of course, the, as a badminton player, our inspiration was to become a Thomas Cup player. And uh, when I was uh, selected to play for Malaysia in the Thomas Cup, uh, I was very proud and very happy about it. Well, the feeling is almost the same because uh, to, to, to participate in the Commonwealth game and the Asian game, you have got to be the best. So when the Thomas Cup competition came along, uh, I was among the best in the country. In fact, I was the number one player in Malaysia. Uh, I was the youngest Malaysian badminton champion, uh, Malaysian Open champion, the, at the age of 17 years old. I was anxious because uh, this is the first time that uh, I've been selected to play in the Thomas Cup and uh, any badminton player for that matter would feel proud and uh, anxious uh, if you're selected to represent the country. Di dalam pertandingan separuh akhir antara wilayah, Malaysia mengalahkan Denmark 7-2. Kemudian Malaysia menewaskan Jepun pula 6-3 di dalam pertandingan akhir wilayah. Dengan itu, melayakkannya menentang Indonesia, pemegang Piala Thomas itu. Pertemuan Indonesia-Malaysia dalam suasana yang berbeza, apatah lagi ikuran hubungan politik antara kedua negara baru saja pulih selepas konfrontasi. Sonegal mendahului dengan dua lag. Tak berapa lama, Cheng Ho sama mata. Pertandingan ini satu ujian di antara yang muda dan yang berpengalaman. The riot happened because Malaysia was leading by 4-1. And all we need to do is to win one more game and, the Thomas, and win the Thomas Cup. So the, the crowd became hostile because they know the Indonesia knew that they were losing. And uh, of course, they created a problem to stop the game. So the game was stopped and uh, because uh, the crowd was too rowdy. Kemenangan bagi Malaysia sangat jelas. Yi Khan dan Bun Bi mengatasi lawannya 7-0 dan 10-2 dalam set kedua ini. Lima mata lagi untuk kemenangan. Kemudian berlakulah satu peristiwa. 
para penonton riuh gemuruh menyokong pemain Indonesia. Keadaan yang tidak diduga ini melumpuhkan Yikan dan Mbumbi. Akhirnya, Mulyadi dan Susanto mengatasi set kedua ini 18-13. And the TV just went blank. Just went blank. No pictures, nothing, and uh, even radio. All off. There was nothing about the Thomas Cup. And so we were just sitting around and well, it, with anxiety, all of us, like. There's no way to communicate with anybody. In those days, there were no phones, nothing. They were all getting ready to pop the champagne because they were so close, so close to winning. That didn't happen. Sehingga ini, Yikan dan Bunbi memenangi 25 mata dan pihak Indonesia 4. Lepas itu, mereka menang hanya tiga mata saja dan Indonesia 16. Angka-angka ini menjelaskan kisahnya. Keadaan untuk bertanding pun sudah jadi mustahil. Inilah sebabnya referee rasmi Herbert Shield menghentikan pertandingan pada peringkat ini. Now, it was more... Will they be safe enough to come home? And how are they going to come home? That was everybody's anxiety. Wow, nothing happened to us, luckily, uh, because we were very fortunate. We had the minister, uh, Tan Sri Kia Johari, with us, and the military was uh, also guarding us. Uh, so we were very fortunate that uh, we were really well looked after in terms of safety. Well, of course, I was frightened. I was, I mean, to be honest, you know, yeah, I was frightened as well. In fact, everybody in the team was frightened as well, you know. But then, there's nothing much we can do because uh, the, the, the whole uh, stadium was in havoc, you know. Definitely, we will still win because the five of us were the best players in the world. Uh, in fact, a month before the Thomas Cup, we were touring the whole world playing tournaments. And we were virtually won every tournament that we participated around the world. So there is no doubt that we will win the Thomas Cup, even without Riot. Well, it was great coming back to our homeland. In spite of all the trouble that uh, the night before, and uh, and us being escorted to the airport uh, uh, by military tanks, we the moment we touched Kuala Lumpur, we were so relieved, so very relieved. I feel great because I've done the country a great. Uh, I've done the country. Uh, I've won some honor for my country, and uh, I'm very happy that uh, 
uh, to do this uh, for my people, my rakyat, 